All right, so we are back, and I feel like I need to pop some champagne or celebrate, because finally, Social Glove, you know, the promotion ran by Austin McSteel, steal your money that stole everyone's money the first time around, and they're back again, and they got athletes and entertainers on the card, but no one's talking about it, because shocker, Nobody in the promotion is actually promoting it until today because Austin McBroom just dropped the first promo video on YouTube for this card since Gibb dropped the video announcing that he was going to be fighting Austin. <laughs> that was like a month ago. <laughs> but listen, we're two weeks out. If they're starting to the build now, I'm down with it. Let's take a look and see where is Austin two weeks out from his fight. What's going to be the difference in this fight between Austin and Gibb? And what's Austin's biggest weapon? Breakdown. Let's go. I visualize how I'm going to win. Like I play the whole fight in my head. Over and over and over again. So how are you gonna win? Like when I'm doing the locker room, how I'm gonna walk out. <laughs> I like how Austin just ignored his wife when she asked him how he was gonna win. And he's like, Yeah, I'll be envisioning how I'm gonna win this fight. I play it over and over in my head, and she's like, So how are you gonna win? He's like, Yeah, uh, in a second. But when I'm in the locker room, I do this. <laughs> Got my new whip. Alright, they rolled up in a Rolls Royce. <laughs> For a guy that has as many lawsuits settled and outstanding as Austin has, you would think he'd be a little more cautious about flashing so much money on camera because, again, evidence. <laughs> I like the white, too. Row seven seats, three rows. So you mean to tell me Austin pulls up in a Rolls Royce to then get intrigued by a range that he might also buy? What ranges are like, what, $100,000 cars? I'm not saying Austin can't afford it, but if he can, doesn't he owe like multiple people hundreds of thousands of dollars before he starts talking about buying this car and that car? <laughs> Michael Lee, Taylor Holder, Jarvis, Vinny Hacker, any of those guys, he kind of owes them like three or four ranges. So you might want to hold off on buying a new one. <laughs> What's the game? We shoot from here? Where we shoot from? Well, you gonna match I, what, what, what we betting? A thousand dollar store credit, but if I beat him, I gave front row seats to his boxing match end of this month. That's a deal. Bro, you sold yourself short. The front row tickets, they're going to be basically giving them away. I would have asked for an all access ticket to Ace Family Fest, but well, no one showed up to that either, so. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated Austin. Here's something that I have to say about this press conference. This guy was the voice of your promotion for that day, and he was reading off this piece of paper 90% of the time. So you've told everyone that the guy representing Social Gloves has no idea who the f is on the car. I just want to say thank you for everybody that's here, everybody that's tuning in, everybody that's going to be there at Crypto Arena July 30th, and everybody that's going to witness me, you know, do what I did last fight, which is beat up this dude behind me. Uh, what? You didn't beat up the dude behind you in your last fight. You beat up Bryce Hall. That's not the same thing. You know what? I'm not going to give a prediction. All I know is going to end quick. I'm not going to give a prediction, but it's going to end quick. Austin, hate to break this to you, but that is a prediction. <laughs> that entire press conference was an absolute shit show. Like, they didn't show you there, but I watched a bit of it. You guys saw the TV screen that kept flickering in and out like one of those fly catchers on a redneck's porch. It was completely fumbled. There was no attention to detail. And speaking of those details, Austin conveniently left one out of his video, and that was him facing off with a little person to make fun of Gibb for being shorter than him. Leave it to Austin to have no self-awareness. But let's take a look finally at what Austin actually does well, his boxing footage. Little jab, step in, uppercut. Warm up here. Boom, boom. Keep an eye on Austin's lead hand. I know I talk about it all the time, but his biggest weapon will come from this lead hand. Like, Austin's straight left hand is nice. He definitely threw it with some venom in the Bryce fight, overthrew it to a certain extent, but everything works off this lead hand. Doubling up the jab. You see Austin drilling these check hooks. Why would he be doing that? My opinion is that Austin's going to try to utilize his jab, which again, I think is going to be his biggest weapon off the lead hand to poke at Gibb and continue to throw it out there to get Gibb to come forward. And then that left hand behind it, right? He wants to utilize Gibb's forward aggression, which we all know is one of the things that Gibb does well, comes forward, big time cardio, gets in your face. Looks like Austin's going to try to use that momentum against him. That would be a smart game plan and the most effective one that's been used against Gibb in the Jake fight, working off the jab throwing the hooks behind it, and then finishing off with the backhand. What Gibb is going to have to do is utilize that head movement as he comes into range, being able to slip off the center line and be varied with it. It can't just be slipping inside, slipping outside. It has to be both ways because Austin does have decent setups and counter shots off of it. If he sees you continually slipping inside of his jab out of southpaw, he's going to come with that check right hook, and it's going to be there. 
little two, three action here. Austin throwing this straight left hand. That's not the power shot here. That is a setup shot to get himself in position to throw that one. That's where the big power comes. Boom, boom. Again, working the jab. All lead hand. It's good body work. I like that. And again, another thing you see here in just these little exchanges, Austin working in close quarters, right? He's not working from distance here. Austin does have a massive tail behind his jab. And it's tough because some people could look at that and be like, no, he's just fainting. But this isn't a faint. This is more how Austin throws in a rhythm, right? You'll watch his hands here as he throws. They pop out first to lead his exchange. That right there. Boom. Hands first, then we go. Hands drop, hands come back, then throw. It's very subtle, but in fast motion, you can still see it. Every time. Same thing. That could be a big tell for when Austin does decide to throw his jab. And Gib finding ways inside of that is the game plan anyway. It would just be another way for him to recognize that jab coming out before it actually gets there. Boom. Boom. God, it's a nice right hook. Comes across snappy, very parallel. Boom, right across. Chops down with it too. Bang. This is almost like a, a triple G hook where instead of throwing it across, they throw it over the top and down like you would when you're shadow boxing. Austin's got a really nice lead hook is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I like these twitchy feints here from Austin. This is nice. Just the little movements of the shoulders here will cause reactions. When you're showing this shoulder shimmy, you're moving your hands around. They're attention grabbers, right? So any of this stuff Austin's doing, it doesn't seem like a lot, right? He's just kind of feeling his way, getting his rhythm, but all this stuff, even this head movement, right? Here, and then jerking it back across the other side, then giving back to range, and bang. All that stuff, because Austin is fast, will cause reactions. You keep that motherfucker in his face all night, we can go home happy. You hear that? Let's run that back. You keep that motherfucker in his face all night, we can go home happy. Keep that in his face all night, we go home happy. Again, simple stuff. You keep that jab in his face, we go home happy. But it is a look at their game plan, right? They want to stay in Gibbs' face with that jab. And again, you see them work in close quarters the entire session here. I don't see Austin really coming out of range much at all, outside of maybe popping his jab out of range, then back in. And then maybe get to the clinch if Gibb continues coming forward, work the body, reset, and go again. That seems like what they want to do. Meet the aggressor with aggression. Stop that forward momentum with the jab. If we miss, or if he keeps coming through it, we have the check right hook there for him as well, and then the straight left off of it. So it's pretty simple what they want to do. Good reactions. Boom, boom, boom. Nice jabs. He's not just jabbing in place. That jab coming forward, good balance. All right, man, so there you have it. Listen, I've told you guys this many times. I will talk my shit about Austin as a businessman, about how he's treated people that he's done business with and done them very dirty. But as a boxer and for this event, Austin's looking sharp. It's obvious they want to pop Gibb with that jab and stop that forward momentum continuously throughout this fight. And if Gibb wants to get stubborn and come through that jab, they're going to answer him with counter shots all night. That's why I say his lead hand is and will be his biggest weapon in this fight. How Gibb navigates it and how Austin adjusts to that is going to be the real difference. Let me know in the comments below how you think Austin's looking. Like I said, I think he looks pretty sharp here. But we're two weeks away from the fight. Things are hopefully going to start ramping up. Hopefully they promote this a little more. But on fight night, like I said, Austin's lead hand, his jab, check hook is going to be his biggest weapon. Can Gibb overcome it? And if he does... What does Austin's gas tank look like when an 18-wheeler is coming full speed ahead? I don't have those answers, but July 30th is only two weeks away, so I guess we'll find out.